What's going on everybody? In today's video, what are we doing and what are we talking about? That is the question and you guys are probably looking at all this gear that I have and you're saying, well, Jerry, what the heck are you showing us today? What is going on here? So today's video is actually really cool. Uh, it's a video series that I've been meaning to start and put together uh, demonstrating uh, a software package uh, that came out in the N64 homebrew scene. And essentially what it does is it allows us to take a 3D character uh, with some animation sequences that we've created in the software program Blender, as you guys can see here. And what it does is it allows us to export that uh, model information and animation sequences uh, into a format that we can then take and incorporate into some N64 source code that we're working on as part of a game or a demo. Uh, and we can then compile and create a ROM file where we have complete control over various characters and animation sequences that we've created in Blender. So then you can just go and you know press a, a push button on the joystick for the N64, or if within your game you want a certain event uh, you know, to happen, a certain event occurs, within your game and you want to execute a certain animation sequence, you can easily do that using this software package and all these tools that we have. And so in today's video, I'm just going to be giving you a general overview of the entire process, uh, but I'll be adding supplemental videos uh, to this as a video series and a tutorial series for you guys to follow and be able to replicate this entire process. So really cool, really exciting, and I'm super pumped to show this to you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. Here we go. Okay guys, so as you can see, we've got a blender session that's up open and I've got a little robot model here, this little mech walker model that I've created in Blender. And you can also see that I have it running uh, on the N64 console through my flash cartridge, the 64 drive, running its uh, idle animation sequence there. So it's just sort of sitting there scanning around. Now. Uh, this is going to be a lengthy video because there's lots to cover. There's lots of different tools that we are going to be looking at. And in today's video, it's just going to be a very brief uh, demo of, uh, of all the different tools that we're using. It's just a really, really amazing software package that we have here uh, that allows us to do this, to export uh, a model that we've created, a low poly model. And it does have uh, a bone uh, structure here that I've rigged applied inverse kinematics which allows us to animate the robot uh, very easily and be able to position different keyframes uh, and then run through and create different um, walk cycles or run cycle that type of thing. Uh, this is going to be a tutorial series that I'm putting together and so I'll have supplemental videos that will follow today's quick demo video essentially uh, that's going to just show the entire process but I will follow this video up with uh, several other uh, tutorial videos uh, going through each of the different software tools that we will be using as part of this software package uh, that allows us to do this to export models from Blender and then run and demo those on the N64 console. So really, really cool. Um, so now with all that said, the software package that we are looking at is called Sausage64. And as you can see, the Mario character here uh, he's all split up into different little sections like sausage sections or little segments of a, of a link on a chain kind of thing and they're broken up and that is the one of the requirements for this software package. It's a recommended way of modeling your characters when you're working with this software. So it's called Sausage64 and it was created by the user Boo342 from 
the N64 homebrew uh, Discord server uh, that's called N64 Brew. So uh, for any of you that are in sort of doing N64 uh, homebrew games or demos, that kind of thing, uh, chances are you've heard about uh, Boo342. You may know him or you've seen him around. And he's been a huge help in the N64 homebrew scene for years. The guy is just a, a really, really amazing person and he's been helping out everybody in N64 development. And he created this software and I'm gonna bring this up. So this is the package that you download off of uh, Boo342's uh, GitHub. And we have a whole series of different tools that we're gonna be using here. So I'm gonna try and speed this along as quickly as I can, so just bear with me. Uh, but uh, Boo has really, he's done such a great, a great job at packaging this all together. He has various readme files for all the different tools. Uh, and as well, he has a wiki on his GitHub page that explains a lot of the processes and the requirements for the software. So definitely check it out. Today's video, I'm just gonna be giving a very brief demo uh, of each of these software tools and uh, talk about some of the requirements. So there's a whole bunch of different uh, files here that we're gonna be looking at. So number one, we have a, a Blender plugin that we have to set up. And that's the first thing that you need to do. And that essentially allows us to export our model into one of the files that we need in order to create uh, the N64 display lists for um, you know using the uh, models that we create in Blender and uh, running different animation sequences. So when you install this, you essentially end up with, when you go to file here in Blender, you go file and then export down here at the bottom, you'll end up with this exporter uh, uh, option. And what that does is it will create uh, a, a file that has all of your uh, exported model information, all the vertice data, as well as all the uh, animation keyframes that you're going to be uh, setting up here as part of your Blender project. So now uh, I'm gonna bring in this little graphic and essentially it's gonna lay out the five steps that we need to go through uh, in sequence in order to uh, create the files that we need, uh, these uh, H files that we have to have within our uh, source code project. Um, and uh, then as well in the end, we're gonna have to compile the project. That's the last step. Uh, but I'm just gonna briefly go over each of these. Uh, but again, just remember that I will provide supplemental videos where I'll give a full tutorial going through all the settings and uh, the processes that we need in order uh, to get this to work. So, but for today, it's just a quick demo as quickly as I can. So step number one, we have to export our animation from Blender using that export tool. So you would essentially just go over here to file, export, and then select a Sausage64 character, and that would create that .s64 uh, formatted file. That's step one. Uh, step number two is using the chorizo.exe preview program. So if we were to go and open that up, so if we go chorizo, so this is his little preview program here. And essentially we can import uh, the S64 model. That's the exported model from Blender. So we can go ahead and load mine. And here it is here, robot model. Now when it first comes in, it doesn't have any uh, textures applied, but I'm just gonna quickly uh, load that in here just so we can quickly see it. And so after you would apply all your textures and uh, you would you simply do that within this program by just simply clicking on each of the texture names that were assigned in Blender. And then you can quickly just go down here and click on uh, the little texture icon here and apply the texture uh, that you have chosen for that particular mesh. Anyway, so after you go through and you've completed all of that and you've applied all the textures, you then simply go file export texture definition. And then that creates the needed text file that has all the names that we've chosen for all of our textures. And that's a file that we need in order to create our H file. So that's step number two. Then after that, we would run the command line program called Arabiki. And I'm just gonna bring in a graphic here of the command that we would run in the command prompt uh, to run this little program, and that's arabiki.arabiki64.exe. Uh, 
And so essentially we would uh, add uh, dash T and then that text file that we just created with uh, Chorizo. And then that's followed by a dash F with our S64 file. That's the exported file from Blender. And then dash N and the selected name that we're gonna be using uh, within our project. So I've chosen Robot MDL. And then finally, the outputted file of this, and that is our H file that we're going to include within our N64 ROM source code. And in this case, I've chosen Robomech MDL.h. Uh, step number four is uh, to open up a texture, N64 texture converter program that Boo provided. And that's available on his GitHub. And I'll make sure to have links to all that. And here it is here. And so essentially what this program does is it allows us to uh, open up a texture and then select a specific texture and then you select open and you select the format that you want to convert to, uh, whether you're using alpha channel or not. And then you simply click on compile image. Uh, you can see here that I have all of my textures converted and then I combined all of those together into one final H file that I have declared here as robot1text.h. And that has all of the textures that are a part of my model. Uh, they've all been converted into the format that the N64 requires. And so that file is what we'll include within our source code. So that is step four, where we're using the N64 texture converter. Uh, now step five, the last thing that we need to do is within the source code of our project, uh, once we've included all those files, those added H files, uh, the last step is for us to update the stage 00.c source code file. And there's several functions that are in place within this uh, source code file that are essentially referencing and making function calls uh, that reference the data that is held within uh, the two H files that we created, uh, one for the model as well as one for the textures. So we just have to make sure that we go through this source code file and update any of those functions that are part of the Sausage64 uh, library and are uh, calling uh, various uh, model information and texture information within those added H files. So as long as we update that correctly, uh, we should then be able to compile this. And then what ends up happening is you end up with the preview ROM where we have our exported uh, Blender model with its animation sequences that we can then trigger uh, based on different events like pressing a key on the keypad. So as you can see here, I'm just pressing that on my joystick controller. around uh, and then again uh, activate the different animation sequences and you would just select them up here uh, idle but that's already running in a loop but then the walk animation sequence you can then trigger on command uh, but you can see the power behind this uh, this software package and all these tools and allowing you to incorporate some you know really cool uh, models and animations that you would put together uh, you know, setting up inverse kinematics for doing all these uh, uh, different walking cycles, a run cycle would be the next one to implement. So it's just really, really powerful and a really amazing tool uh, that Boo has put together for us all. And it's uh, just super fantastic. Really, really cool. All right, guys, that's a wrap. That's today's video. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to user Boo342 from the N64 Brew Discord server. He is the creator of this amazing software package uh, and he's just been a huge, huge contributor to the N64 homebrew scene for many years. And the guy's just a fountain of knowledge, very helpful. Um, and the guy is right in the middle of finishing up his uh, thesis for a master's degree uh, in computer science. So I know the guy's super busy, but he does have a YouTube channel of his own 
where he does vlog posts and he's uh, working on his own N64 game. So definitely go and check out his YouTube channel and follow along with all the developments that he's uh, putting forward and showing and sharing with everybody. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, so definitely check out his website and I'll have the link to that in the description, but it's also above. So definitely go and check out Boo342's YouTube channel. Really, really cool. Uh, I also want to give a big shout out to my supporters. Uh, thank you guys for being patient with me, uh, posting uh, these videos. It takes an enormous amount of research and time, uh, but I am trying to post more. So again, thanks so much for being patient. Um, and for those of you that are interested in becoming a supporter, please visit my website, and that is behindthecode.ca. And think about becoming a supporter here at Behind the Code with Jerry. So thanks again for watching, everybody. Hit the like and subscribe if you can. That is always appreciated. And we will see you in the next video. Take it easy and bye for now. Ciao.